Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth to this continent a new nation conceived in liberty. Bottom of the night, base is loaded. Catcher, ball's going over that wall. Crack, going, going, gone, a home run. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and most other guests, we very quickly ran right through Superman, Abraham Lincoln, and Babe Ruth. And you probably knew who I was talking about, because these are heroes. The kind that allow us to transcend our mundane existence and to dream of bigger, better things. But where are the heroes today? Why no more real ticker tape parades? Why do you walk into a young child's bedroom, look up on the wall and see a picture of this week's pop star? Or the computer monitor? There's today's hot viral video YouTube personality. Either of those people guaranteed to be famous, therefore, 15 minutes. Where are the heroes? Oh, why do we care? A walk back in that child's bedroom just a minute. Help me with this multiplication table. The zeros table is the most fun. It's <laughs> easy. One times zero, zero. L times zero, zero. Four billion, three hundred twenty-seven thousand, two hundred nineteen times zero is zero. A human being times zero. In other words, a person without a hero, a vision of some sort, big zero. That person without a hero is a lot like an old rubber band. You've seen it before, you throw it down on the cabinet, and it lies there limp. But you pick that old rubber band up, stretch it out hard, hold it about a minute. When you put it back down on the cabinet, it will never retain its original shape. I say that a person once inspired by a hero is like that old rubber band and will never be the same again. I say that a nation can be that way also. Look at France, England at the start of World War II. The French quickly overrun by the Nazi horde and knew no hero till Charles de Gaulle rallied them during the occupation. The English, on the other hand, knew night after night for the raining of bombs and rockets on their nation. Yet being promised by a hero, Sir Winston Churchill, nothing but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. The English knew their finest hour. Perhaps our technological age denies us a real hero today. And it is true we can no longer have a Amelia Earhart or Madame Curie, somebody truly working alone today. Neil Armstrong walks on the moon and a month later, ho-hum, was simply the product of millions and millions of work hours and billions upon billions of dollars. And we don't even know the name of the person who invented the internet. Simply a corporate scientist doing his job. And yes, I believe we must have a different kind of hero today. A hero like you. <coughs> Remember, you already are a hero to someone. Where are the heroes? Perhaps they all succumb to the aha theory. You've heard it before, college classroom, on the internet. Speak of Benjamin Franklin, most venerable old diplomat, but aha! What shameful conduct in the boudoirs of Paris. <laughs> Speak of Thomas Jefferson, author of the Declaration of Independence. But ah, ha! He was a hypocrite. He owned slaves. The lawyer down the street seems to be sincere. Ah, ha! He only wants your business. The politician in Washington on the state capitol seems to be honest. Ah, ha! He only wants your vote. Living as a cynic is an easy thing to learn. Develop a condescending smirk. Learn to snicker at the sight of an honest tear and declare that all people are frauds. Yes, living as a cynic 
is an easy thing to learn and a terribly impoverishing and yes I believe we must have a different kind of hero today a hero like you and what do I mean by that in 1947 in a cafe off Broadway Bruce Cabot, Errol Flynn and two other Hollywood action movie stars were debating which among them was the greatest hero of the age. Unable to decide, they approached Sophie Tucker sitting at a nearby table. Wise old Sophie looked them up and down and said, Gentlemen, I hate to disappoint you all, but there's only one real hero here. And that's the man over there that's been serving you all those drinks this afternoon. Old Sam back there has owned this cafe for 25 years. He's been married to the same lady for 35 years. He's put two daughters through college. He's loved and admired in his community. He teaches his Sunday school class. And the four of you, among you I count 11 wives, none of you have any roots, none of you reared your own children or even know where they are. You've made millions upon millions of dollars, but who, who pray tell, have you ever really helped? No, gentlemen. There's only one hero here, and that's Sam. I say that we must be willing to accept the hero, whoever he or she may be, for the best of what they have to offer. The very best. Where are the heroes? Well, step forward, my friend. Step forward, my friend, and be that hero. Mr. Toastman.